Find the two binomials that multiply to the polynomial below. Well, um, there's lots of techniques for this, uh, but what I recognize right away is two things. I recognize that this number, the coefficient of x squared, which we call a, right, a equals 3. And just to follow up, b is the coefficient of x, so b is equal to negative 15, so I like to think about it. And c is equal to the constant, it's 18. If a is greater than 1, you might consider a variety of techniques, but I notice also that a is a, is a factor of 15 and 18. So the first thing I would do then is factor out a. Okay, so I don't want the value to change, or structure to change. This is, I'm just trying to know that. So in this case, I'm just changing the structure, not the value of this expression. So inside the parentheses here, right, I write x squared minus 5x plus 6. Why? Because 3 times x squared is still 3x squared, and 3 times minus 5x is minus 15x, and 3 times uh, 6 is 18. So I essentially divided 3 out of each term, but then I kept things equivalent by surrounding with parentheses here and multiplying the 3 back. So nothing's really different. What's nice, though, about this is that I can easily set up um, or factor this trinomial here. What I would do is use um, an area model, uh, so something like this. Okay, and what I would say is, well, we've got to get x squared. We're trying to factor this thing out, and we've got to get 6. So I know that x by x is x squared, and I know 2 times 3 is positive 6. There's lots of factors, though, I could choose. I'm going to choose 2 and 3. Uh, just I'm going to choose negative 3 and negative 2. Why? Well, because I have to multiply to positive 6 and add to this thing right here, negative 5. In other words, and you always know this uh, if you're factoring in this way, to find two numbers that uh, multiply to 6 but add a negative 5. Why is that? Well, take a look at this diagram right here. Let's finish this. So this upper right area is negative 3 times x, right? This is negative 3. This is x here, so so is this. So the area here is just negative 3 times x. And down here, for the same reasoning, we have negative 2x. What's going on here? Well, if we add the four pieces of this region here, what do we get? x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6. If we simplify this, we get x squared minus 5x plus 6. So what you can see what's happening is that we're always going to end up adding these two terms if we're adding the total area. And the coefficients of those two terms are negative 3 and negative 2, which are the factors of 6. So what? So well, the factors of 6 have to also add um, to the middle term because when you multiply these areas here and you add those coefficients, you get your middle term. It's the property of uh, distribution here. Or, uh, sorry, the distributive, <laughs> distributive property. Anyway, so the answer here, what we're looking for, is two binomials that, fact that multiply the polynomial below. So we can have 3 times what? Well, um, x minus 3 this binomial here, times x minus 2, this one here. And that would be our final answer. All right, hope this helped.